have that many killers going on through the top 32. I mean, you've seen how it played out all day long, which is actually nuts. Yeah, it's been such an incredible day, like really, really surprising matches in some cases, and like some really, really fantastic performances by a lot of players that kind of stepped up and like were like, look, this is why I belong to be here. This is why I'm in top 16 winners, and it's really cool to see. And this one is, I, I feel like, going to be a slugfest. Listen, literally the last time I seen both of these guys play with was at NOBC. It was before Brooklyn beat down mm -hmm. that these guys played each other in the local. Of course, uh, obviously, Nemo won that tournament, but that's literally the last time. This was season two of Battle Rock, by the yeah, way. Yeah, and I was going to say, that's long before G was the character who we see here, which, you know, it's funny. Nemo picked up G originally when this character came out, and then kind of said, I don't know if he's that good. I don't know if I believe in the character, so it's going to be an interesting match to watch for sure. And Tier. Yeah, I don't really see Nemo as like the commando type, to be very honest with you. He's all about disrespectful buttons, just really testing, testing your mind when it comes to your, your number knowledge in terms of the frame data. He's, he's definitely disrespectful the way he plays it. You're going to see it right here with the random dashes. Oh, yeah. And I think if you're smug, you have to be ready for those dashes and those jumps, right? That's one thing that you always talk about when you talk about a Nemo match. This is a fact. This is a fact. This is a throw to finish the job while the tech. Mm -hmm. He went for another throw. Okay. Oh, that's wrestle. a throw. Mm -hmm. Back to the corner. Oh my goodness, it, it, it literally reached, I know, I'm surprised too. I had to sit all the way back after that one. Wheel kick. Mm -mm, that's another decision to be made, EX head, but no, oh, wake up throw, really? I thought the same thing, I thought for sure he's gotta do it, and so did Smug, that's why he blocked at the very end there. Back throw for Nemo, and that was the start of a comeback, but again, you know, he's kind of known for going for those crazy headbutts, so. What a punish on the knee drop with the neutral jump face. Beautiful stuff there from Smug, and he got the corner position with the casual walk up. He strolled all the way up there. Yeah, and you know, Nemo has such a wild play style, such an orthodox play style, so he's really fun to watch. And you know, I think it's fun to see someone like that against Smug, the standing light kick stand jab. Mm, it's time to guess, command throw. And I like that Nemo is keeping all of his cash, but he's almost to Stun City. Actually, he, he is in Stun City, no? Going to the late throw again, expecting that headbutt. No way. That was so high <laughs> up the way. That was so high the way you looked at me. <laughs> but really, though, that's how used to, that's how used to you are in this matchup. There. That's a lot of CFN, brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. On CFN, there's a lot of Urian players. Mm, nice. Oh, OK. You try to bait out the throw. You try to punish the throw with the jump back jab skill. Yeah, counter hit combo as well. He was ready for the punish on the X head button. Mm. I like that taking him. I like that sequence just to push him in the corner of your fast. Okay, bow down. No, this is not the curtain call yet, Smug. Stun meters high. Nemo pressing those buttons. I like the headbutt choice just to get out the corner even faster. Race change. Oh, that was there. Very, very scary. Lucky that that forward medium punch didn't reach because Smug dies in one hit now. This is true. This is true. And he does the oh that's over. It's a wrap. That is a wrap. He could extend that if he wants to, but no, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Nemo. Game number one. Very nice. Yeah, and with that much meter as you're in, he gets EX tackle into V trigger, into EX up fireball, into EX tackle again. So he was able to dump all his meter, even though he didn't start with a critical R, he was able to use it all anyway. So cleaned up. A lot of damage still left on that combo. And game one, as we expected, I think, it's a slugfest. That's just kind of how this matchup's going to go. I cannot believe we got these last four matches. Yeah. I kid you not. I got to stress it now. The fact that we got Big Bird and Luffy going on. I mean, we've seen it before, but it's going to be epic. Even more epic because that is the losers. All of these guys, all of these matches, by the way, are losers, yeah. guys. So somebody's going to go to the spectator seat tomorrow for sure. Mm -hmm. Man, that cheesy smile from Smug <laughs> on that picture on the bike gets me every time. Hey, he's looking directly at our souls, too. Mm -hmm. mm, the Booger Bandit. The Hammerhead. Smug. I see you. He's like, mm-hmm, I know. The Hammerhead. He, like, he literally heard us. He said, mm-hmm, I know. Yeah. He's staring at his monitor and Nemo's at the same time. <laughs> Fight! Fight! Ooh, I like that check on the dash. Early on, there we go, the wear down, there we go. All right, Nemo's like, you know what, I can, I can answer back. Yeah, that's one thing about this matchup is that if you're powered up especially, there's not a lot of ways for Yurian to deal with the fireball without jumping, and this is a hefty answer here. Wow, big damage over that too. Wow, what the hell happened to your health points? Eh, 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 eh. Now, I thought he was gonna actually reset off a neutral jump and go for the command throw, but no. Yeah, set up whiff and the wake up buttons. That'll do it on the wheel kick. Back heavy punch doesn't even need it. And that's one of those things about this matchup is that you know, <laughs> you know yes. that if he, depending on the wake up timing, Yurian can wake up crouch jab on the jumping heavy punch. So uh, you have to be very careful about that if you're smug. And that's something that Nemo's going to be looking out for as well. Nice anti air on the knee drop. Yo, smug has been so good checking those knee drop. He does not want to let Nemo have those plus frames. He don't want to guess against him right now. Wow, that actually worked out for him. Okay. Well, and he thank got out you. of the corner, yeah. Those buffered lights, sticking him out just in case, but nice. stand medium punch. That was clearly a wish punish right there from Nemo. Mm -hmm. But it's all right, though. It worked out. He's a charge character. Sometimes you have to. You have to, you have to wish. Yes, yeah. you have to wish. Okay, wearing him down. All right. Smoke ready. Nice! Yeah, he did 
doesn't respect it at all. Even though he V scales multiple times in a row, walks back, respects the uh, headbutt. Mm. Here we go, Jim carries in there on the block. Here's the mm. walk back. Mm. Nice anti air with the wheel kick. I'm gonna say that was a hard assumption, but it worked out for Smug. Okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's a command throw, I promise you. Oh, not even the check. I thought it was too, Nemo. Listen, you're only human, my friend. Mm -hmm. You believed, and so did he. That's what happens in that moment. You just have to guess. And you notice that Smug has not command thrown that much against him. He knows that it's kind of like a wily player, right? So you have to really save him for like the key moments. Yes, I was just about to say that. Definitely for the clutch moments. Hopefully it's not a 2-2 situation where you probably will see those get bust out like that, the command throws. Yeah. Nemo doesn't like blocking. Absolutely not. No. Very aggressive, very yeah. aggro. Yeah, he's not a big fan. So like, you know, making him block is typically very tough. It's all about space when it comes to Nemo. That's pretty much his defense. It's the spacing, the movement. That's pretty much his defense. Even though it's offense, but it's defense at the same time. Yeah, it's a bit of both. Like he's, he's dashing, he's jumping. He doesn't want to sit still and just kind of block. Always willing to swing and challenge. Especially, like, even if he's negative, he does not care. All right, he got that metallic aura on him. Now he could just plow through strings if he really wants to. Staggers, if you will. Just anything at this point. Nice anti-air already from Smug with the slight lead. Mm. Hit him with the can of coals, but he answers back with a standing shot to the rush punch. Yeah, I like Smug slowing it down and taking the levels too. I think in this matchup, those are really, really useful to have. All right, loses one there. Wow, that is so genius. I love that setup just to beat up, beat out the throws, even the meaty throw attempts. Yeah, it's good against the tall character too. Mm, you saw the standing jab, just in case you can still block in time. I like that meaty option. Smug totally aware of the EX headbutt on reversal. That's one thing I like about Smug. Even to Street Fighter 4, right? He just knows how to fish out panics, right? When yeah. the, on the reversals, on the wake ups. So genius every single time. The crouch jab for the trade definitely in Nemo's favor. Mm, no, no, I'm gonna give you a high five. My version, though. Oh my god, Dick Tracy's in. Oh, that could have been a V skill, which is one thing we see Smug do a lot, actually. Mm. Yeah, challenges the plus frames. Oh my goodness. I like the check, okay? Nemo definitely fishing out a throw there. Wow, on the last active of frames. No finish though. Uh, the coral punch. Let's just maul him with some botones. Even Nemo knows that yeah, was a little too close like, for comfort. Ah, one too many jabs there at the very end trying to confirm into the headbutt. Or the X tackle. Take the level. And he still got the anti air. Right on time. It's kind of like a fake out, right? Looks like he's about to throw a fireball sometimes. Yeah, Nemo was like, wait, I can't let him get away with this. And then he dashed up. It was too late. So slick to throw the timing off the beast because he goes for the charge metallic sphere. Uh, command throw? No. I got to respect me, though, but definitely lost your turn. Mm, the answer back with the crowd is strong. Nemo being very disrespectful with the button presses. Wow, okay. Oh, buffs. Oh, Pearl but... punch. That is the guess. One more. He baits the throw. Doesn't get it, but that's going to be the dizzy anyway. Should be the round for Nemo. Knee drop. Doesn't even go for it, cleans it up 2-1. And yeah, that was one of those moments actually where like Nemo hit the headbutt and then it was out of the air and he reset with forward medium punch. But I was thinking to myself like he should have let him fall maybe so that he lost the level, right? But in that moment, he just committed to the offense anyway. He got the throw, so it worked out okay. Finish it off. Whenever, whenever chance Nemo gets some advantage, he's going to take it for sure. Now he's up 2-0 very easily. I'm actually surprised he went with the G pick again. I would think at this point he would pick Balrog. But you know what? He is going to ride it out with the mask. Yeah, I like that he takes the level there, too. I think that's useful in a match like this. Wow! Layered offense. He I was so that. ready for it. Oh, uh, go punch? No, not even. Give me the high five. It's Abashi versus Nemo. Mm. Well, shake my hand. Shake my damn hand. One more for stun. Again, same situation we saw last time. A lot of damage on this. The reset. Oh, oh. And that'll do it. The meaty jab, the counter hit the perfect, and the look on your face. <laughs> Yo, Nemo got that look on his face. Man, I didn't think it was going to be this easy. <laughs> Hold on. Match point already. Thought I was fighting the top 16. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> that looked like a survival match, though, regardless. Yeah. All right. Mmm, didn't duck in time. Nice work punish there from Smug. Now we got him in the corner. Almost at Stun City. What are we going to do here? Ah, uh, missed type of missed time on the meaty. I jump like kick. Every single time. And that's crouching jab too. We've seen Nemo have a lot of, you know, kind of G-specific matchup knowledge uh, dealing with these uh, jump setups and even the splat. Ooh, that was a mistake. Probably a wheel kick. I was about to say, you're that brave? You thought he was going to dash in? A hard read on the dash in? Yeah, I think he just missed the wheel kick and got the command throw. For sure. He's given up a lot of life to the zoning so far. Oh my god, and he is ready. Nemo's ready. Hot off the kitchen. B trigger and a CA. Smug gotta be careful. Oh my goodness, he tried to hold up thinking it was a throw. Now you might get punished. Oh, the reset. the reset! And that's gonna do it. Nemo sneaks it in at the very last second and goes up into top 16 over Smug. That was an easy pass.
that was an easy pass right there for Nemo. But you know what, everybody? Give a round of applause for Smuggle. Smuggle's work. That was good stuff there, man. He hung in there. Continuing to reign over Bahanchan, of course. But you know what? His story ends right here. Nemo advances. Yeah, and that was a tough one for sure. I mean, clearly, Nemo was prepared for G. Like, he had so many matchup specific things that was like, this. he's studied for it. He is just super ready for it. And his play style is unorthodox, and it's like unusual to deal with. So, that was super well played. And again, top 16 qualifier on the loser's bracket. So, Smug out of the tournament just like that. Yeah, a bit of an edge there for Nemo, of course. He definitely does have an understanding of the character. So, he definitely know how to get his ball on. Especially since G got no reversals. So, you yeah. might as well steal your will. And that's a guy that you don't want to bump into because he will not respect you. Never. Absolutely it doesn't matter not. if you have a three frame or reversal, a V reversal, a super, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So good stuff there. Okay.